today I'm going to teach you how to draw a pug with a normal pencil and eraser, so that means everyone can follow along. So the first step is we're just going to draw the bottom of the stomach and the top of the stomach, so then we kind of know where everything is. So I'll just say it's like around here, oops, around here. Just estimate, and then the top can be somewhere here. We might change it later depending on how it looks. So, now that we kind of have the top and the bottom just estimated, I'm going to draw an oval right here. This is where the leg is. Just an oval like that. And now that we have that part, I might fix this up a little. Make this go a little more up. And now we're going to draw another oval right here. And make sure you're drawing this lightly. Don't, don't press down too hard. That's why I'm holding my pencil up here. Now we're going to draw a circle up here for the head, for the head of the pug. And we're going to make it flat on top. Just like that. Now we're gonna draw a line over here to finish where it is and just kind of connect that I guess. Now we have the body. So let's fix it up a little. I'm gonna raise this a little bit more and there's something that goes out like that. And then this is a bit more flat. Just kind of look at the picture and see if there's anything you want to change. Maybe make this a little shorter. And we can erase the parts we don't want. That looks a bit better. Maybe raise this up a little. Just look at the picture and see what you want to change. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw this leg. So just draw a rectangle like that and then another rectangle for the knee and then I'm not going to be able to fit the whole thing but Another rectangle. Just build everything out of rectangles that you see. And then here is the paw. Here's the paw down here. So just see as many shapes as you can. And out of those shapes, you can do the drawing. Now I think I want to raise this up a bit. that maybe even a bit more I think I want to make the leg a bit shorter but let's draw the other one just to see because we might not want to I'm not sure yet so we're gonna do what we did with the other leg go like that and then another rectangle out here and one more like this. And like that. And then one final rectangle for the paw. Hmm. Yeah, we'll make this one a bit shorter because I like the length of this one. I think it matches it better. Like that, and we can make this go out a bit more, like it does in the picture. So yeah, I think we're just gonna move everything a bit more. So let's make that bigger. And I'll erase this to make a bit more clear which lines are real and which ones are fake. 
and then we'll end this one here and put the paw, or erase the paw first. Put the paw somewhere here. And sometimes if you want to be really, really accurate, you can print it or just make the picture on your screen the same size as you're going to draw it. And then just to make sure, you can measure your drawing and compare it to how it is in the picture. We're just going to use shapes, so it's okay. Now we have that, so we're going to move on to the other legs. So around here should be good, and we see there's a little bump there, so we can draw that in right there. And now this part's just kind of long, so we have this rectangle, it goes out and then back in, and then out again. And then we have another one that goes like this. And this is bigger than this because it's closer to the camera. So like that. And then here is the paw. Something like that. Make this go down a bit more. Something like that, and then there's like these bumps like that, so we'll draw that in. Alright, um, and then if you want to add it right now, there's just like a thingy here, and then a thingy here, and then a thingy here. We'll shade that more in later though. So now we have that, and then we just need to do one more leg. So, uh, the fur is like right here, I'm going to fix it a little, so that's right there, and then let's just do it about here. So we have the rectangle, the rectangle kind of meets to right here, so that's where we're going to end it. Then it goes out, little in, little out again. That's good. Then it's like a swoop here. And this just kind of has a weird edge, something like that. And we can see that this part is above this one, while these are kind of the same. So we're going to draw this bit above that. And there's some um, rectangles here. And here for the paw. And there's like some nails that you can draw in. Like that. And now we basically have the legs. Oh, and we can draw the tail as well. Which is just a swoop over. Swoop. Just like that. We can erase the extra part. Bam! We can erase like all of these lines. We don't really need this might confuse you, I don't know. So we have all this, good. Now time to do the head and then we'll start shading. So we see that we go up a little. So here is the ear. We just go up a little, it's like a triangle. And then we swoop and go back in. Like that. And then the top is flat. It kind of goes in a little. And then back up. Kind of a dip there. 
not that noticeable. And then we have the other ear. So like that. Down a little. There's a little notch, I don't know what it's called. Right there, so we go in. And then go like that. It meets to the other ear, so we stop. And then go like that. Because if you see on the picture, it has like a thingy. So we're going to draw that. Ta da! can fix that a little. I don't know. So we have that. Now through here, we're going to connect it all the way to the snout and we're just going to draw the shape so it's flat here, curves down then it's flat and curves back up and then the bottom mouth part isn't actually connected to that so we're going to draw something right above it basically a smaller version of the bottom one and then do the I don't know what it's called the bottom part thingy now just curve down like that if that makes sense now we're gonna do the other part the like top circle thing so we're gonna draw a straight line then out like this because the nose is going to be here and then just an oval just an oval like that and it's not going to connect to this part because this is a completely different part so like that so we have this pentagon then a uh, oval now we're going to draw the other oval, so do this for the nose, and then draw the other oval. Like that. Maybe, hmm. Kind of hangs over the edge a bit, so I'm going to bring it down. And I'll erase this. So like that. Hangs over. Only this side though. So. Like that. And maybe make it a bit more flat on the top. Whatever you think you need to adjust. You can adjust. And if this is too fast, remember you can pause the video. And then there's a thingy down here that connects to the part down here. Just like that. So here's the nose. Like that. So let's do the triangle first actually. So we have the triangle part. And then the squid tentacle. Like that. Kind of goes out, then back in. So now we have that. Now, what we're going to do is where this thing starts, we're going to draw a line that goes like this. Draw a line that goes like that. And then on the other side as well. It's really dark black in the picture. So I'm not sure if you can see it. And then these are those lines. If you're looking at the picture. The picture will be linked in the description, by the way, so you can see it and follow along. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line right over the nose. Like this. And then it'll connect down to here. And connect down to here. I'll just erase this part. Okay, so we have that. Now we're going to draw the top part above the nose, so it's kind of like an upside down U, but fancy I guess? This will just tell us where to put the eyes as well. So it goes like that, and then there's this fur pattern here, you can lightly draw that in. And then the other side connects. Like that. I'll move this a bit more. Like that. This part you really just have to look at the picture and see what you have to fix. Kinda like that. I don't know, if I don't like it, I'll change it later. I might make this a bit higher, so it goes like that. Just do it to the best of your ability, it's not really that important. So, we have that. Now, right next to it, we're going to draw the circle for the eye. And then here is the eyeball. We're going to leave this part white and just kind of go like that and then leave this part white as well like that and we can fill that in. So fill all of this in. You don't have to fill it in too dark because we'll do that later. Especially if we want to change where it is. So then here is this line that connects and then there's a line that's out here and like that and then a line like this and then a line that connects outwards like that and then outwards like this. But we have that part of the pug. Now there's also, there's a hook kind of attached to this. So I'll draw that and then above that is another thing like that. And let me just erase this so you can actually see the white part. Now, it's going to touch, kind of touch, it's just near it, the other eye, and then this part is kind of flat, and then round it, round it off, like that. Then we're going to do what we did with the other eye like this, put that, and then leave this spot white, just erase it to make it more clear, we're going to keep that part white, 
And we're also gonna keep this shiny box white. So now we can color that in. Like that. I'm actually gonna erase a bit of it. Gonna make it a teeny bit smaller. More like that. That's flat there, and then curse. Okay. Now I have the other eye. So, what we're gonna do is there's a little swoop thing here. So let's draw that. Then there's also uh, something here. So just draw that in, which connects to this. And a darker thing that goes like that. And swoops out like this. And actually, I'm gonna erase that first swoop that we did so it can go out a little farther. Because so I realized it's a bit farther out. So then we have more room for this part. There we go. Now connect this part back to the eye and we're gonna do a swoopy triangle. We have that swoopy triangle and then the tip of the swoopy triangle connects back to here. Connects back to there. Alright, I'm gonna color this in a bit more so you can tell uh, what is what. Like that, and I'll color our swoopy triangle in. Really dark. And connect this part to that. And just, you know, darken the outside of the eye to make sure it really stands out. Now we have everything drawn, so we're just gonna do a bit of shading, not really that much, but we'll do some shading. So, back here, we'll shade back here. Thinking just some cross hatching. And then down here, And if you want to shade differently to make it more realistic, go ahead. You would just kind of do a fur thing so you would go like this. But pugs don't really have that much fur, which is why we're just going to cross hatch. And then this part is really dark. Uh, let's make this darker. Basically just do lines and then draw the lines the other way 
and then bam. Now where else? Here we can also do it. And then here. Here it's a bit lighter. And then here we can just do like the nail part. So just draw some triangles and fill those in. And then do another triangle over here. And then we already did this when we drew that. Here we can also do it. Just do some triangles, if you can see that. I'm not sure if you can. Like that, and then one more triangle. Like that, we have another triangle. Okay, and then uh, here, around the tail. Like that, then we have over here some cross hatching. And then where else? Around here, top. We can just do here a bit lightly. And here. And we can do some around here, where we kind of already drew these lines, but just reinforce it. And then here, where we already drew the lines. And then there's a lot of dark parts here, so just do a curve like here. So let's draw lines here, and then curve it. And then here as well, and then there's like a swoop like this, so just draw lines there as well. And do it the other direction, and there's also some here, some there. Just draw some lines, make it a bit darker. And then here as well, make it a bit darker. I'm gonna erase just this part. And here, I'm gonna make it a bit darker. Now we already did that part, but just a little more. And basically just add whatever shading you want to. Let's add some shading to this part. So I'm gonna darken this, so then we can actually shade it first. Because this part is all black, so I wanna still be able to see the lines we drew. Like that. It's really dark around the edges. 
and then gets lighter more towards the middle. And I also don't really like this part, so I'm just going to lighten it. I made it kind of too dark. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's a bit better. A little more. Like that. Um, we'll keep doing this. And then here, it's like that. So, one second, let me darken this a little. And if you can hear that lawnmower outside, uh, ignore it. Let's <laughs> just darken this, do it the other way. Darken around here. Just basically darken all the edges. Um, and just slowly make it lighter towards the middle. Just like that. And then the nose as well, let's darken that up. So just go around the lines you drew, just so you don't lose them, and just darken around the edges. Like that. Now we can darken the eye. We'll darken this part. Darken this one as well. Then we can shade this just a bit. So it's not completely white. I finished the drawing and then I realized I wasn't recording anymore. So I'll explain what I did just to make sure you guys can hopefully still follow along. All I did was after I filled in the eyes, I darkened this part. And then there's a tiny circle around the eye that's kind of lighter. Then I just added some lines here to shade, here, 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 here. And then after I did that, all I did was I drew a line like this, or we already had it, I can't remember. Then I filled in this dark, then I left a lighter line in between, and then darkened the other side. And left the middle a bit lighter than the edges. And then same with here, filled this in, left this lighter, and then uh, filled this in with the edges darker than the middle. So I hope you guys can still follow along even though I kind of stopped recording. Uh, that's all for the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I hope you could follow along. And I'll see you next time. Bye!